Take your Bibles, if you would, turn to Second Chronicles chapter seven. Second Chronicles chapter seven. Uh, I want to start off with this verse. This uh, verse was written or occurs when uh, Solomon is uh, is dedicating the temple. And, uh, and as he's in his time dedicating the temple, some amazing things happen. Uh, in that process of time, uh, he sacrificed. The sacrifice was immense. The fire, fire comes down from heaven. Uh, just an amazing spectacle uh, uh, occurs. And God speaks in that time. Uh, and God speaks to Solomon and the nation of Israel. And uh, in his uh, speech to them... Uh, is, it comes this verse, Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh, and we refer to it oftentimes during election time, certainly when uh, we're, uh, we're uh, uh, concerned about our nation, our country. July 4th, it's used often. Uh, many services, many sermons are built around it uh, for uh, this um, patriotic time. Uh, and so I wanted to use this as a springboard. I've got uh, what I want to say. It shouldn't take five, ten minutes, uh, and then we'll spend the rest of the service in prayer time. I want it to be different too. I'm gonna. Sam, are you listening? Can you hear me? He's in the nursery helping out with babies because he has two. Uh, but uh, during this prayer time, we're going to do it differently. Uh, God provided it, worked it out this way. Uh, we don't have a lot of folk here, but we have some. And, uh, and so uh, and, and, uh, it's divided pretty nicely. Ladies, uh, majority of ladies are on this side. And, uh, and then uh, I'd say majority of men on this side, but uh, there's not a lot of us on this side. But in, in just a little bit when we split up, I'd like it if, uh, if all the ladies would gather over here and all the men would gather over here. And let's go ahead and gather back in where Brother Steve is back. There's a little distance between us. And I just want us to have a prayer time. Uh, and uh, ladies, you pray amongst yourselves. Men will pray amongst ourselves. But Sam, I want this. Is what I want you to do. I don't want our Facebook crowd to miss out. Uh, and so Sam's going to take the cell phone and uh, and go around. Won't have very good sound on Facebook. And you won't probably hear a lot. But I want it recorded that we're having prayer time here at Heartland Baptist Church for our nation for this upcoming election. I want to encourage us as a, a, a unit. Uh, to make big of this a number of our people aren't here uh, tonight due to uh, uh, many are struggling with illness we know the Wheeler family is uh, uh, struggling under quarantine right now mentioned brother Bud mentioned brother Randall and and others uh, brother uh, Steve Lanham uh, is down brother George Dell many of you don't know this I think in the last uh, uh, the last three weeks he's made either three or four trips to California uh, and they're all, almost overnighters. He goes Wednesday. He out of, leaves town Wednesdays back Friday night. If you've never traveled that long of a trip, there is a thing called jet lag. Uh, I've made some long trips. I went to the, to the Philippines one year, went to uh, Thailand, was told jet lag exists. When I went to Thailand, I didn't feel any. I felt fine, man. Everything was good. I gained a whole day. Life was good. When I came home, I got hit between the eyes. I would be sitting there talking to my wife and uh, uh, just carrying on a conversation and then not carrying on a conversation. It is real. Uh, and honestly, I think Brother George is struggling with that. Miss Marilyn said that she's talking to him earlier uh, uh, this morning, and he woke up way early this morning. I know time change affected that. Uh, but then she said that just before they were coming to church, he just crashed, and just uh, she had to wake him up to get him to come to church. So I, he's not here tonight. I, I have a feeling he's struggling with that. Others, we know, uh, are, are struggling with things. But, uh, but in, uh, I want those that are on Facebook uh, live to be able to experience a little of our prayer time. Nothing fancy, just Christians praying. But I want it to be uh, recorded. And so Sam uh, will help us, Brother Sam will help us out with that. Uh, so ladies, uh, just pray and he'll go around. He's not going to get in anybody's face uh, and, and, and any of that. I just want uh, Christians to see Christians praying. Uh, and we'll just have a small season of prayer. But in uh, this passage of scripture here in Second Chronicles, Chapter 7, 14, uh, we're instructed how to. We're instructed how to fix the nation if it messes up. 
Uh, Solomon's had a big festival, if you will, leading up to the the uh, the new uh, the temple's been uh, built, and uh, the, it's being opened and to, to be used. Has a big festival for it, many sacrifices. God's overjoyed. Solomon's overjoyed. In the midst of all of that, uh, is this verse where God makes a promise: If my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. So God gives us a layout. Then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. I want to show you that he meant what he said. Take your Bibles, look over in Second Chronicles chapter 33. Back a, a few pages there. A few years have passed. The nation of Israel has, uh, has split. There's been a, a tremendous uh, amount of time have lapsed just in a few chapters here, but amount uh, uh, significant. I meant to look that up and neglected to before we started here tonight. Uh, but uh, but years have lapsed. The nation has changed. Uh, it's been separated uh, through uh, misbehavior and uh, and. Uh, 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 kings acting inappropriately, much wrong was going on, and uh, and this king shows up on the scene named Manasseh. Manasseh's dad was a good king. Manasseh was not as good as good a king as Manasseh's daddy was. Manasseh, it's almost as if he went with the intent of being just as equally wicked uh, on his scale. In fact, I mentioned this morning. Uh, in my message about uh, kings that were allowing Molech to be built and worshipped to. Manasseh allowed that in the nation of Israel. Uh, as a king, uh, he said it's okay and uh, sacrificed his own child. Manasseh was a wicked, wicked, wicked king. You can go back and research it. We're not going to get into it. But I want to show you what happens here in chapter 33, verse number 12. The Bible says here, a wicked king that had sacrificed his own child for, uh, to a false god says here in verse 12, And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers, prayed unto him and was entreated of him, and, and, he, uh, and heard his uh, supplication, brought him again to Jerusalem unto, into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew the Lord he was God. Manasseh, a wicked king. God, because of his wickedness, allowed persecution to come to Manasseh and Israel at that time. But God promises in uh, uh, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if the nation uh, gets wrong, if Christians will get right, God will help out the nation. Here we see that God's people got out of whack. Manasseh did. And, uh, and Manasseh led the nation of Israel to a, a bad place. And yet God was merciful that when Manasseh uh, asked for, in fact, Manasseh was granted many blessings after this. If you look and read and study his life, uh, it's amazing transformation that occurred. Listen, uh, our nation's in trouble. And we are the only ones that can get her out of trouble. Joe Biden can't do it. Uh, Donald Trump can't do it. Uh, it's God's people that can get America out of trouble. And if we, God's people, aren't, a, aren't concerned after what we've been through this year, if we don't develop a concern and a desire to pray for our nation, it's not going to get fixed. I just promise you, it won't get fixed. Uh, so it's up to us to pray. It's up to us Christians to make it a matter of prayer. I want to encourage us. Not just tonight, but I want to encourage us. I want to encourage our church on Facebook, those there, those that might hear this and see this through the YouTube video. I want to encourage you, make it a point to pray for your nation. She needs it. She needs it. Make it a point to pray for your church. Make it a point to keep your heart right and in tune with God. God can do many things through just a few people. We're just a smattering of folk here tonight, uh, and I understand that. But God can do great things through just a pattern of, uh, of people. And I want us to just dedicate ourselves just for the next few moments. Do like I said. Ladies, come up here. Men, we're going to go back there. We're not going to have sound going over the big sound board or anything. Uh, and uh, and I, I asked Brother Sam if he'll carry the video camera around. And he'll. it won't be the greatest of video. Uh, but it'll be some. God 
needs to hear from his people in regard to his nation. We've seen some miraculous things. Uh, I mentioned it this morning, three conservative justices that all three uh, have, uh, have uh, uh, through their uh, experience and through their jobs have, uh, have shown a proclivity to voting uh, for life when it comes up uh, before them. Uh, three judges, or justices, I'm sorry, that vote that way. Unheard of in one term. Unheard of a president saying, I'm going to put these kind of justices uh, up for, uh, for a vote. And unheard of for him to actually follow through. Uh, and we've seen other conservative, quote unquote, conservative presidents say they'll do it, and they haven't done it. We've seen it done this time. Three justices, that's unheard of. And I'm telling you, God's, I think, working. God's trying to preserve America because we need America. This world needs America. Uh, currently, she's the beacon of light of the gospel. It's America, and uh, and so we need to do our part. So I, that's all I have to say tonight. Uh, I want us to go ahead and, and divvy up into, it's interesting, I just looked at the clock, said it's 714, and we're kind of focused on Second Chronicles 714. Interesting, I don't know if there's uh, any symbolism there, it's kind of cool, uh, but uh, uh, I, I just want us to, so ladies, if you'd make your way over here and congregate where the other ladies are, men, we'll go over and congregate back here. And, uh, and we'll just have a season of prayer. And I want to encourage you to pray. Those, some of you that don't normally, I don't want to pray. Somebody will hear me pray. Pray. It won't hurt you. Uh, and, uh, and, and let's just, let's just uh, break forth. Uh, one of the ladies, Miss Laura's over here. Uh, pick one of the ladies to close things out. You can close things out. Uh, however you'd like to do it. Uh, I want us to pray for America tonight. I want us to pray for, we've had many prayer requests, mentions in the service, certainly mentioned those in your prayers, uh, but let's pray for America. So let's go ahead and, and head over to that.
called it Simone or Lord, that's when we did it. We can hear it again. So, and Lord, I just pray that in, Lord, I just ask that, uh, that, that you would allow, Lord, uh, especially the Senate, Lord, to, to stay Republican control. Lord, I just pray and ask that, uh, that, uh, that you would even uh, do something even greater, Lord, that you would allow the House, Lord, to, to, to be persuaded over to the Republican side. Lord, we need uh, control of both houses, Lord, to do the, the work that, uh, that, that you want done. Lord, I just pray that that would happen. Lord, we thank you for our country. And Lord, we don't begin to know what your will is. And, and Lord, I, I just pray that, that your will would be done. Lord, regardless, we'll accept it. And Lord, most of all, uh, Lord, that, uh, that, that, that we would thank you for it. you allow him to have another four years. Lord, we just ask now that, uh, that you be with the folks, Lord, that, uh, that were mentioned this morning. Uh, please be with Amy, Lord, and that uh, she begins to heal and, and heal up. And Lord, as Poppy has turned your attention to, to them, uh, Lord, uh, we just pray that you be with Amy, Lord, allow her to heal up. And, and Lord, the fact that she's got the fever, uh, Lord, we pray and ask she would get that. For, for the family, Lord, we pray and ask that you would keep them safe. And Lord, allow them to draw even a little bit closer, Lord, than, than what they were before. Please allow them to do that. And, and Lord, we pray for that uh, family that lost uh, the child. Lord, we just pray that you would help that family, Lord. Something that was unexpected. And Lord, we pray and ask that you allow them to get Please, Lord, allow your grace to, to give comfort to those families. Lord, we pray they, they, that you would uh, give them the peace that they need. Lord, we ask uh, that you be with Brother Don. Lord, continue to help him. Thank you, Lord, for him. And Lord, uh, allow him to be able to walk a little bit better. Lord, I pray that you give the doctors wisdom. And Lord, we pray and ask that, uh, that, uh, that there's something that can be done. Get his mobility up, Lord. Please be with him and allow him to uh, be able to come to church like he, he, he wants to. Lord, we pray that you do that for him. And Lord, uh, be with Jerry, Lord, that uh, my wife mentioned. Lord, I pray that you'd be with him tomorrow, Lord, as he uh, goes and has the surgery done. And I pray that it would be successful. And Lord, that uh, the kidneys would be uh, repaired. And, and Lord, uh, that it would heal up. And have a full function of it. Pray that you be with them. And Lord, uh, be with others, Lord, that, uh, that, uh, that even I can't even remember. Lord, I just pray that you would meet the needs of many. That the one that, uh, that uh, Brother Sam mentioned, uh, Lord, we pray and ask that you be with, with that dear lady. Lord, my heart breaks the fact that she's got uh, three little ones here. But Lord, I just pray. Lord, that you would send a miracle her way, Lord, that I just ask that you'd intervene, and, and Lord, uh, uh, we think of uh, the fact that there's not going to be a, a mother there to, to mother those kids, and Lord, we just ask that you would do that for that family. Lord, please allow them uh, to see your working through this. Lord, I know they'll go beyond the prayers for whatever's happened, but Lord, uh, need her. Lord, I just pray that you send a miracle that way. And Lord, we pray and ask that uh, that you'll continue to be with our church, Lord, as we uh, do the work that uh, you call us to do here. Lord, allow us to continue. And Lord, we're thankful for the one that was saved today. And Lord, the, the fact that, uh, that he heard the gospel. Lord, Lord, we're thankful for that. And Lord, we just ask that you'll continue to be with us, folks. Lord, that come our way, Lord, and allow us to, to be able to lead them to you, Lord. Lord, we just pray that we'll continue to do work here in, in Walter Hill. Lord, we're, we're thankful, Lord, that, uh, that you uh, allowed us to, to have a facility here, and Lord, the work that's been done. Thank you for that. Lord, and allow it to continue, Lord, and just allow us to, to be able to finish and, 
Lord, that we can get on and do the work that you called us to do here. Lord, we pray for the families here at Heartland. Lord, we ask that you would watch care of them. Allow them, uh, Lord, to have safety. Lord, we pray that we ask when uh, more folks would uh, start trickling back in and start going back to church. Lord, we just pray and ask that you get rid of this virus, Lord, and allow it to dissipate and, Lord, fade away. Lord, we just pray that uh, we get back to some normality and, Lord, uh, serving you even more. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. Bless this night, we pray in your name. Amen. Dear Lord, as we continue in prayer, my in you as we go forward through it. I pray, Lord, during this uh, election year that you would uh, do a work that, Lord, that only, only can be uh, understood by you. The fact that Donald Trump is in office is, is, is a miracle of yours. And, uh, many of the votes that, that came in for him uh, 2016 were, I think, votes against uh, his, uh, his uh, running uh, and the person running against him more so maybe even than support for him. But Lord, no matter why or no matter what the reason, you uh, put him in office. And, uh, and Lord, I, I, I certainly was one of the doubters uh, as to what might happen as a result of that. But Lord, I have been so pleased with what uh, our president has, ch has chosen to do, the direction that he's chosen to take our nation. And Lord, there's really no understanding that and, and knowing the man Donald Trump through the years he's been certainly on uh, TV for us to see over a number of years. Uh, Lord, uh, I certainly would never have dreamt that he would go the direction he's going. Uh, I never would have dreamt that he's, uh, he, he, would, he would go and his politics would be what his politics have been. Uh, Lord, whether it is he got saved, and, and, uh, uh, and that's my thinking, uh, that, that he did a work in his heart. I, I know uh, Mike Pence and Lord, he's a good Christian man and, and uh, doesn't hesitate to, to mention his salvation experience and, and uh, has, has publicly expressed uh, his, his uh, dedication to the Lord. And, uh, and Lord, for a man like that to team up with uh, Donald Trump, maybe there was a conversion that we're not aware of or alerted to, but Lord, something has happened. This man that we've seen uh, for all these years portrayed out on the, on the screen in front of us on television uh, as, as an austere man, uh, a man with pride issues, a man that uh, uh, just seems to always want to please himself, Lord, certainly, and what he's done over the last uh, three and a half to four years uh, it, it has been mind-boggling to see the changes that have, have occurred to our nation, both uh, uh, politically, uh, on the world stage, Lord, certainly nations that just a few years ago we were bowing down to them uh, in, in symbols of fear. Now those nations are, are in fear of us and, and, and the fact that we, uh, we are a nation to be reckoned with. And we shouldn't have to succumb to their uh, misbehavior. And they, in turn, should, uh, should uh, realize that they, they better behave themselves. Lord, I just pray that you just uh, give us another reprieve. And Lord, uh, maybe I'm asking for too much. I don't know. But my prayer is that, that we see the House and Senate both join in uh, and, and become a Republican. Lord, that's the only platform that I can support right now. Uh, Lord, that's, uh, that's the platform that supports and, and, and preserving of life. And Lord, uh, certainly that is of utmost importance. I believe in, in your word as I study it. 
should be in the hearts of your people. Lord, I just pray that you'd help us to see a great revival in America. And Lord, I, I'm afraid that we as Christians might have dropped the ball here. We should be, and yet should have used this reprieve that's been given to us uh, and, and make a move and not wait the four years. But Lord, we're on, I think Christians are pretty much in shock from what we've seen. Lord, I pray that you'd help us to witness a uh, true revival in this nation. And Lord, I pray that you'd help that revival to start in the hearts of your people. As we go through the process of, uh, of uh, humbling ourselves and, and confessing our sins and, and uh, yielding our hearts to you and, and praying for our nation, Lord, to help us to do what we should. Certainly, Lord, you've heard all the requests that were mentioned, and Brother Steve did a tremendous job of reminding uh, all of us of those. I pray that you'd meet each and every one of those needs and, uh, and shine out uh, and shine blessings down on those folks. Please bless us and bless this nation. Dear Lord, thank you for not allowing us to be here for the past few years. The past has been a lot of Lord, we need to gather publicly, Lord, and many nations, even, even in this day and age, Lord, do not allow Christians to be what we are, Lord. Um, thank you so much for allowing us to serve you. Thank you for the freedom to come and to worship you, Lord, in a place like Cajun, Lord, and, and being able to gather with folks we need to, Lord, and not worrying about a somebody intervening from the outside. Lord, I pray that you bless our nation, Lord. She's a great nation. She has been since the first, Lord. She's been up, Lord, and she's had some down moments. Lord, I would say these last four years have definitely become, Lord, kind of an up time in our in our nation's history. Lord, the the numbers, uh, Lord, uh, of our nation's growth and on our economic system, Lord, have been uh, astounding, Lord, to see um, our nation. President shutting down the the border during uh, COVID nineteen, Lord, and being able to crack down on that to the extent that he was able to, Lord, uh, had he had he had done that, or had somebody else have tried to do that, Lord, with what he had originally before he took office, Lord, they wouldn't have been able to pull it off. Yet, Lord, he was able to protect us, Lord, and, and to Lord help us navigate through this time of, of COVID nineteen, Lord, and many of the other facts that have been hurled our way. And uh, Lord, even even terrorist attacks, Lord, that have been directed at our people. Um, Lord, thank you so much for allowing our president to have served us as the way he has. Lord, as it's been mentioned, Lord, he really provides the cross. Lord, I pray that you continue to allow him to surprise us. Lord, I pray that we would we would get to see Lord another four years of a man who, Lord, come to Lord really uphold your Lord your ideology. Desires for us as people. Lord, he's tried his best to, to free a race of people who've been burdened by the law to, uh, Lord, a, a oppressive degree. Lord, and, and even though they've uprised against him, Lord, not understanding, being uh, being blinded by a um, very biased media that's trying to bring him down, Lord, yet he's still been able to protect and to, Lord, really change the way our nation uh, has treated whole race of people. Um, it's amazing to think, Lord, that, uh, that they're still trying to come after him, Lord, and call him all kinds of uh, hurtful and, and, Lord, race-baiting things. It's just amazing, Lord. I, I was watching, um, Lord, a, a black man who beat a white lady who had two adopted Haitian babies up in the Oasis, Lord, inside of our country. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, Lord, here we are. And I pray that we, Lord, as a nation, rise up, Lord, and, and take it upon ourselves to vote and cast our votes, Lord, and try our best to make sure that our president has another chance to continue, Lord, the work that he's done. Lord, he is a hardworking man. He's been hardworking this whole time trying to take care of a nation, Lord, and, Lord, win over a nation that has been blinded by so many outside sources to what he's actually done for them. Lord, I thank you for him. Lord, I thank you so much for allowing us to have this country. Lord, I pray that Christians would go out and vote. Lord, if 52 million people, Christians, would go out and vote, Lord, I think the outcome would be, Lord, landslides. Lord, in, in the favor of the man that's right to serve you. Lord, uh, this, this 
slogan is right, Lord, it's on the wrong campaign, but it is right. Lord, this is the boat. So they carry it to the right hand. Lord, and I pray that the right church gets may take the office, Lord, and continue to uphold your name, Lord, in our nation's highest seat. It's been a long time since we've been able to look at even a Christian, Lord, a proclaimed Christian. Um, we've seen that prayer, Lord, that hasn't, Lord, served you the way that this president has. I pray that you continue to allow him, Lord, get a chance to lead this nation back towards you. Lord, I pray that as our pastor mentioned, that Christians will rise up during this time to have a lot more freedom than we've ever had and a lot more protection than we've ever had. Lord, to try our best to spread the gospel to a country that needs you. Lord, a country that desperately needs to find you. I pray, Lord, that we would realize the mission field right now is right for the harvest. Lord, and that we would do our best to reach those souls. Lord, to wherever we would be able to send. I pray that we would do our best to reach those souls. Lord, I pray that you do the prayer request that I mentioned, Lord. I think of each and every person that we've had Lord is on that prayer request, Lord. I think of also those who have landed, Lord, we haven't been seen a whole lot, Lord, that he's unable to be with us, and I know his heart would love to be with you. Lord, I pray that you bless him, heal him up. Be with Brother John, Lord. He's the pillar of our church. He's been here for so long. He's, Lord, given more money to this church than, Lord, I think anybody ever realizes, Lord. Not only that, he's been a witness, Lord, to, uh, to our church, Lord, of faithfulness for so many years. Even when it hurts him, Lord, he's still putting on that suit. Lord, I thank you so much for him. I pray that you continue to, Lord, uplift him and, and keep him here with us as long as you desire to have him with us. Lord, I pray that you bless him, continue to bless him. Family, Lord, thank you for bringing them through the hardship they've been through the last few years, and continue to bring them through. Lord, I think of the other other members, Lord, of our church who are struggling, or some with COVID nineteen, some with other um, health conditions. I pray that you be with each and every one of them, Lord. I pray also that you be with this um, young lady, Lord, friends of ours. Um, they work in the church, Lord, and, and they try to serve you. It's nice to little young thing here, Lord, and yet here she is, Lord, possibly, Lord, and, and uh, even maybe on her deathbed. Lord, after bringing that little person into the world, Lord, I pray that you bless, bless that family, Lord, work a miracle. Uh, Lord, we know you're the, you're the God of miracles. Lord, uh, I'm holding a little person, Lord, that was brought into this world. I need a miracle, Lord. And we've had other little babies, Lord, born in this church, but Lord, we're supposed to um, come out the way they did, yet you took care of them. Lord, I pray that you bless, bless this young mother, bless, bless this young man, Lord, they are trying to serve you. I know their heart. Lord, Nick's heart, he has tried his best to serve you, working with youth and others, Lord, to bring at least one more people um, to the Lord than I think anybody realizes. Lord, and he's just an outstanding young man, and to lose his life at this time would be, Lord, devastating. Lord, I pray that you have your will away, Lord. Bless that family. Lord, I love you. Thank you so much for giving us this great nation. Continue to allow us to be here, Lord, for my young son, uh, both of them, as they grow up. Lord, I pray that it would be as good a nation as I have. Lord, yea, even better. I pray that you bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, tonight we come to thee thanking you for all that you've done. We have this promise that, that though Dusty read tonight, Lord, that my people will humble themselves and pray. Lord, we pray that this might be as true of the Christian them, that they might realize that you're the answer, that not uh, those in politics, many of which don't know you, but some that do. We thank you for the testimony of our president who said that he was a non-denominational Christian. And I feel that he understands what Christian means. Lord, he's a man that has lived a, a wicked life through many things. But yet, Lord, his policies, things that he has done are such that I'm sure they please you. And Lord, that we might see his policies continue. I know 
or in Canada, you know, travels or take a nice pot there. We see all the riots and things that happen and Lord that they they have traveled everything that he has done and tried to uh, tried to take them out. Father, we pray that you might continue to work that these policies might continue to bring our nation back from the brink of hell. <coughs> and Lord, we pray that uh, you will guide all of the churches that know you, that they will continue to pray for you and they might see revival like churches. That's why our nation needs is a revival. Lord, we we just ask that you help us Feel that so many of our people have voted, and we pray that all of them will vote, so we might see uh, your will done even through them. We pray the bees that uh, are sick or or need many. ask that you will work in the lives of these people. That you will give us uh, answers on that to see this work. And then also one more thing, Lord, that we pray that our president, if we truly come to know you, that he will grow and that we see areas that uh, are not pleasing to you might be changed. That you will touch us to go home, and Lord, give us a safe trip home, and that we might glorify your name in all that we do. We pray in Jesus' name. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight, and thank you for praying with us. We appreciate that very much. Uh, if you haven't voted, vote. If you know someone that hasn't voted, the registered volunteer to carry them down and, and, uh, and uh, to the polls so they can vote, and uh, and let's do our part to, uh, to try to help. And uh, Wednesday, seven o'clock, meet here at service. Driveway should be in order. To have the, the asphalt go down on it Thursday. So pray to that end. Uh, on all that, you are dismissed. Thank you so much for being here tonight.